Today, for our Math Strategies video, we're going to be talking about estimating and measuring with metric units. So the metric system is a measurement system that measures length based on meters, liquid volume based on liters, and mass based on grams. So that mass is kind of how much something weighs based on grams. The metric units of length describe how long an object is or a distance. Okay, so we have centimeters, and centimeters can be abbreviated with a cm. So if I see 3 cm, I know that it's going to be 3 centimeters, meter, and then kilometers. Okay, so a centimeter is about the width of your little finger. Okay, it's a small amount. So I might use that to measure the length of a crayon, something small. Okay. A meter is about the width of your classroom door, okay? I might use that to measure bigger objects such as a room or maybe even, you know, the distance of a playground. And a kilometer is usually used to measure more of a like, driving distances. Um, it takes about 12 minutes to walk a kilometer. So now let's focus on liquid volume. Okay, so liquid volume describes the amount of space that a liquid takes up. So we're going to be talking about milliliters and liters. So a dropper, like a medicine dropper, holds about one milliliter. Okay, it's a very small amount of liquid. And a liter, think about a water bottle. Okay, or a larger water bottle. You've probably heard like a two liter of Coke. That's two liters of Coke. So we're using that metric system there. So for the metric system of weight, okay, it describes how heavy an object is. Okay, so we're going to be looking at grams and kilograms. Okay, the mass of a paperclip is about one gram. That's a that's that's not too heavy at all. Okay. And then the mass of a large hardcover book, so think about maybe one of your textbooks in your, in your desk right now, um, is about one kilogram, okay? So as you begin to estimate and measure using these metric units, think about these benchmarks that we have talked about to help you.